How do you feel about what Maria Hutchins has said about state schools, about not sending her children there? Well, I think it's quite extraordinary for someone who wants to get elected in a local area to say that they wouldn't be prepared as the MP to send their children to the local school, not least when you've got three local schools that are very good, two have been rated outstanding by Ofsted, another one that's been rated as improving very rapidly. So uh, I think most people will feel that she's terribly out of touch with how most people's lives are if that's her attitude towards the local schools. Yeah. Um, so what is it about state schools that you think works well? Well, I think having local schools that are supported by local parents is really important. It brings children, you know, together. Uh, it gives them an opportunity to, you know, mix with, with children of all sorts of backgrounds and to get outstanding academic results, as we know, from, from uh, local schools. And I, I think it's very important that members of parliament and people who are seeking to represent a local area do use the local facilities that people are, you know, are paying their taxes for that they expect their constituents sure. to use. And if it's good enough for their constituents, then it ought to be good enough for them. So I, I just think it's really important you know, that MPs are in touch with the locality and with the, the real concerns of local people. Uh, what was your reaction to the, what Maria, Maria Hutchins said? I uh, was disappointed by what Maria Hutchins said about state education. If you're aspiring to be the MP for a town, the representative of a constituency, you need to big up the schools. You need to be positive about them, not say they're not good enough for your kid. Uh, I suppose it's a gaffe, it's uh, an insult to uh, the schools, two of which are outstanding, one of which is good. So I hope she'll retract it and I hope she'll do what I did and send all her kids to the local state school.